Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be reading the Octonauts book The Explore the Great, Great Big Ocean and with a glow in the dark surprise by Miomi and we have all the characters on the outside here here also but this time is colored uh, this side and here are all the other titles of the books. For example, The Ocranos and the Lonely Monster, The Ocranos and the Shade of Sea of Shade, The Ocranos and the Frown Fish, The Ocranos and the Great Coast Reef. And let's start. The Octonauts. Beep beep. Explore the great big ocean. Miomi. First of all, we have uh, this page with some beluga whales. And some creatures, I don't know what these are. It's an owl. How is an owl underwater? Okay. And here we can see the the octopod and the little figures. So I'm going to go to these figures one by one. So this is figure one, HQ. Headquarters. The Octonauts hold meetings and control the octopod here. So here's the HQ. This whole place is the HQ. Okay. Figure 2. Quasi's room. Filled with exotic collection of treasures from his many escap escapades. Here. Uh, oh yeah, on this side. It's hard to see because it's only on one side. And... Uh, you can actually see it in the real like the show and here's barnacle's room he keeps the coolest room on the ship he keeps his cabin at arctic temperatures oh wait, this is actually a pun and a not pun because cool by the best and cool by the coldest really here it is barnacle's room and here's some of his child pictures you can see right there and we have figure four, the garden. This mini miniature sustainable biosphere is lovingly tended by the vegimals. Here is the garden. And the kitchen. The vegimals are already always busy baking away in here. It's really small, but I think you guys can see. Sort of focus in. Okay, I'll show you from a little bit above. Yeah, right here. There's some vegetables and kelp cakes. Figure 6, the library. Professor Inkling lives here amongst his collection of books and maps. Over here. Inside there is the library. Where did you not show this bit? There's like a bonus room. I think this is a dining room. Yeah, that's a dining room. Where all I actually seen the dining room before when all the Octonauts met in eight. Okay, so then we have figure seven, the Octo shoots. Advanced suction mechanisms allow quick transport between pods. The pods are these, 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 and these. So like there's like a Octo shoot in each of these, so that's how the Octonauts get to the HQ in time. And we have figure 8 the laboratory, equipped with microscopes and test tube. Dr. Shellington conducts his important ocean research here. Here's the thing. Okay. Next, we have figure 9 the engine room. This maintenance hatch allows easy access to the Octopod's bubble engines. It's here. Easy you know, tweak normally comes in the um, Octonauts and the Lion's Mane Jellyfish. Tweak came here to repair the bubble engine. Figure 10, Launch Bay and Tweak's room. Tweak lives and walks here constantly tinkering with the Octonauts' fleet of submersibles. Submersibles? The Gups. Here. Here, Gup A, Gup B. And there's Tweak's room right there. This is like the storage room, Tweak's workshop. And there's like the engine, the docking area. 
and the screen and then we have figure 11 the infir infirmary infirmary peso cares for injured or sick creatures here this is the infirmary where peso cares for him and next we move up here uh, this is figure 12 the rec room a flexible room used for playing games making music and holding tea parties right here you know like one time they were playing badminton no, no table tennis and then professor Inkling was holding lots of rackets here figure 13 dashi's room dashi has her favorite photos framed on the wall here you can see her favorite photos there i think actually one of these photos is about her sister kashi i think yeah and here is peso's room packed with bandages and a closet full of penguin attire okay now we are on to page two it was a busy day under the cold arctic ocean when octo alert 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 captain barnacles bear was doing his laundry tweak bunny was cleaning ice in the gup d dashi Dashy Dog was updating the Octopod software. Peso Penguin was practicing his bandaging. Professor Inkling Octopus was leading a game. Quasi Kitten was working on his cat foo. Shellington Sea Otter was doing was researching with Tunip the Vegemal, who had sound just just sounded the Octo alert. Look at this funny book he's reading. Right there. I think we can see. Can you see now? Okay. Next. Sliding through chutes, chutes and climbing down ladders. The rest of the Octonauts hurried to the launch bay. They found Tunip anxiously pointing to the large map on the sea. Brita Kapoo! He chirped sadly. We were studying underwater biomes, Sheldon explained. Every creature has a home, a special place called a habitat, that provides shelter and food. Tionip is upset because he doesn't know which habitat Vegemals belong to. Where did the Vegemals come from? Peso asked. Now, as you can see here, we have the compass with north, west, east and south, kelp forest, open ocean, swamp, seagrass meadow, arctic, Deep sea, coral reef, and beach. Next. That's a good question, Shellington says as he began to read from his journal. Peso asked where did the Vegemals come from. One day, he's reading from his journal now. One day, while, uh, while doing research outside, I noticed some strange shapes on the side of the octopod. They look like giant fish eggs, but unlike any I'd seen before. Yeah, is Shellington looking at the thing? Then, it was too dangerous to leave them outside. So I brought them into my lab. Look what it says. Incutron. Incutron. 9000. It's very, the incubator. After a few days, the eggs hatched. And that's how I discovered the Vegemals. Here is the Vegemals... A little picture book thing. My Vegemal journal. This is the egg seedling. That's the egg. And here is the stalk, muzzle, fin, tail, tuna, and turnip. I don't know what the muzzle is, but the fin is here, the tail is here, the tuna is half tuna, half turnip. The half ve half vegetable, half um, fish. So it's like that. Day one. There were dozens of them, little creatures that appeared to be half vegetable and half animal. I took it upon myself to give them appropriate names. Tunip, tuna, and tun turnip, sarcini, sarcini, shark, and zucchini or corget, perchkin, perch and pumpkin, halibut, halibut and beet. 
the five they communicated through a sophisticated language of terms and wobbles that I haven't quite deciphered. Example Chipa Dakavu or like the Chipa Dakavu Dakudu So like that. And then we have Yam Kowi, Yam Ho Yam Chowi, Yam and Ankovi. Yeah, Yam Kobe then. Yeah, Yam Kobe with Yam and Ankovi. Wallabaga, Wallai and uh, ra, 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 Rutabaga, Swede. A picato is a pike and tomato. Charchard is a char and a chard. Okay. So it's just like that. Day 12. They seem to have designated the Vegemal Tunip as their spokesman, sp- spokes person, not to self. Look into their hive mind behaviors. Mokoli, mackerel, uh, mackerel, and oh, mackerel, mackerel, and broccoli. Caprica, carp, and paprika. Albacore, albacore, and bok choy. Salapeno, sal- sal- salmon, and jalapeno. I don't know where the eggs. Oh wait, no. Day twenty six. The vegetables have left the lab and become an essential part of the day to day operations on the octopod. They're especially fond of kelp, and they have taken to the kitchen and the garden garden pod. I don't know where the eggs came from or how long they had been attached to the, our ship. They could be from anywhere in the ocean. Captain Barnacles declared. Octonauts, our mission to visit the different habitats of the ocean and find where vegetables come from. Our mission is to visit the different habitats of the ocean and find where the vegetables come from. Prepare the gaps. Compass, stethoscope, telescope, maps, medical kit, magnifying glass, bandages, extra sock, a pencil and paper, cameras, air tanks. What kind of camera is this? Kelp cakes, guidebooks, hammer, screwdriver, deep sea diamond sewers, toolbox, wrench, more kelp cakes. They are getting the cups ready. The cup C, cup E, cup B, cup A, and cup D. Here, as you can see, here's some text on the cup E. One by one, the cups launch from the octopod. So the cup A has all of the secret rooms and stuff here. So. Here is the bubble engine of the the gap A. This is the cargo hold for the gap A. The bum bot, I think that's like a robot for the Vegemos to enjoy or something. The dorsal stabilizer. The research computer here. The air tanks up here. The generator. The floodlight. And the stowaway. The navigation computer. The stowaway and the secret storage are all part of the GAP A, who Barnacles is driving with a Perchkin, Cordish, no, Halibut, Tunip, and Shellington. Cordish is actually the name in like the show, but in here it's Halibut, so yeah. First, the Octonauts visit the bustling open ocean. Amongst the waves, they wandering they met wandering sunfish, migrating whales and a boisterous giant squid. Tunip was impressed that some creatures live their entire lives on the move. Here are some of the stuffs here. On the rocky beach, the Octonauts were invited to a tide pool party. Tunip discovered that many creatures live in shells. Unfortunately, they were too small to be the vegetable homes. <laughs> They're trying to get in the shells, Perchkin and Tunip. Shells make great homes, said the crab. Here's some pen shell, a limpet, a banded tulip, a conch, and a scallop. These are all names of shells, except I, the limpets are actually not shells. Here's a tide pool party with Wallabugger, Peso, and a octopus, Dashi. And some seagulls, and there's Quasi, Tomino, and in the seagrass meadows, the Octonauts help the gentle manatee farmers with their harvest. Shellington discovered many baby animals in the nursery, but none of them were vegemals. The 